nature's underground here we go again with another video aren't you excited i'm excited let's do this right let's make some videos you feel that you feel it in the air there's a video here oh my goodness oh goodness gracious so that's what i'm talking about you got to hit that like and subscribe button subscribe with a chicken fry rye. You gotta subscribe with a side of chicken fry rye. And a noodle. Noodle only $5 more. Only $5 more for noodle. See, I can be discriminating to Asians because I am an Asian. I can make fun of them all I want. I make fun of my family, which is Asian, which is Filipino. I make fun of my Asian people. I love my Asian people, don't get me wrong. I also love the Colombian people because I'm also part Colombian. So bada bang, bada boom, right? So I am a coconut though, because I don't speak Spanish and I don't speak Tagalog, which I did. It's never happened, right? I'm, I'm pretty much American. So in today's video, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the three things that you can be doing to enhance and basically get you women attraction and magnetism, right? Because that's such a big thing going around in the retention community and a lot of men are just, you know, they say they don't want it, but deep down they really do care about it. And you know, you may say one thing, do another. I don't frankly care. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on the matter. And so the last shot was really bright. I lowered the ISO. If you have a camera, you know what that is. If you don't have a camera, then you don't. You better mind your biz, right? So, all right, disclaimer, disclaimer time. Look, guys, I don't want you going around thinking I'm trying to preach, hey, you know, do this for women attraction, do it for magnetism. I'm only appealing my content to those that want to learn about it. There's a difference, all right? I'm not saying live your life for women do everything you do on this practice for women that's not what i'm saying at all do this for you this practice is for you for your growth for your self-love for your own business for your own goals this is for you 100 percent for you know that don't do any of this stuff for women because you're going to be greatly disappointed when you find that you go months and you don't have women attraction then you're going to be then you're going to relapse you're just gonna be like what what did i do this for there's no point right because all you did it was for a woman you need to have the right mindset going in and ironically when you do this not for women and you do it for your goals for your own self-growth is when you actually do get women that's the funny part too right it's a paradox the first thing that you need to be doing is of course retaining your seed some of you claim to be doing it, but you're probably still not really doing it. You're still relapsing. You still haven't hit 30 days. You still haven't had a true enough reference, reference experience to understand what it is to retain your seed for extended periods of time, to even let your semen mature and form so that you can be at your physiological peak. You haven't experienced it, okay? So it's just a matter of getting serious right getting over those habits you've ingrained in yourself where you continue to relapse and eliminating those so that you can move forward and see what it's like to experience what we talk about on this channel okay so that's step one is actually retained so you can get skin quality so you can glow so you can have less social anxiety so you can get more muscle gains in the gym right all these things more focus more testosterone this is where you start as i always say it always starts with retention it always starts with retention, right? So start there. But, but, a huge but. Hold on. Let me, let me make sure my mustache is still perky. So, 
it's not enough, right? I made that mistake when I just started this practice, so that was a long time ago, but I used to believe, oh yeah, retention is everything, right? You do retention and then it's over, right? I can have the keys to the kingdom, I can have the women, I can have this, right? I can have self-love. Dude, that's not how it works. Retention is the foundation. It's where you start. It's not where it ends. You have to keep going, right? There's a lot more to do in terms of your self-development, in terms of, you know, reprogramming your mind, your th your thoughts. It's a whole holistic approach. It's not just, oh, I retain my semen and I'm a god. No. Throw that ideology, that thinking out the window. That's not how it works. So that's why you need to stick around for points two and three because they're also going to play into, of course, uh, leaning towards ego, getting women attraction and magnetism. So. Let's get into that. Here's point number two. You've got to make sure you stick around for point number three because number three is how you really radiate and shine as a person, right? But as for number two, number two is going to be your purpose as a man, right? You have to have a mission that is greater than yourself, preferably one that serves other people. Most of the time, a mission is a very giving thing right just the same way i re relate to you and my brothers in these videos and i try to uplift your spirits and give you knowledge that i've obtained thus far in my journey you need to have something that tailors to your own lifestyle your own passion that you can spread awareness towards to other men as well and uplift other people because there's there's so many people out here bro we need people to speak their minds and to uplift others right and your mission could be anything it could be just becoming the best cook out there becoming the best video game player becoming you know the fastest car driver writing the best books making the coolest art making amazing music your mission can be different based upon your passions and what you love to do and that's the beauty of being a human being right but for whatever reason when you you speak to god right you speak to the most high you say you know what <clears throat> i really want to help people he then gives you the energy the drive the ambition the focus to help people right the most high has a tendency to bless people that have good intentions that have a purpose bigger than themselves, right? Because what do you do when you're a kid, right? All you think about is me, 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 me. What can I get? What can I take? What can I have, right? You're still a child. But the man's attitude, the man's mission is to help others. It's to expand, to grow a kingdom, to be a king, right? You've got to adopt the kingly mindset of having a purpose, having abundance, and purpose attracts wealth. Purpose attracts attraction. It attracts women. It attracts money. It attracts health. It, it's, a, it's a snowballing effect. Just the fact that you're on your grind coupled with retention, things manifest. You attract things to you because you are on this frequency of high vibration and you just, you meet things where they're at. You vibe on the same level. Right, but it has to start with retention. Step one. Step two, sit still. You don't know it, sit still until you find it. Ask yourself every single day, what's my purpose here on earth? What am I supposed to do? How am I gonna make the world a better place? And the Lord Most High will give you the energy, ambition, and focus to get it done. And point number three. This is the secret sauce to retention. Nobody tells you about this stuff. Right? It's, and it's so overlooked. People ignore this step because it is so god -dong simple. It's so simple. And it's how you really get magnetism. Right? This, this is the secret here. It's how you really attract people to you with magnetism. It's how you really shine a bright light. Right? And what you have to do is you have to switch over to positivity. You have to be grateful every day. You have to switch over to good intentions. It's the reason why, you know, you can, you can build all the beautiful, raw energy that retention will provide you. You can build all that, right? You just retain. But you have to give that energy some direction. You have to give it some, some, some blessed energy. You have to say this, what the seeds are about, right? Or else it's just energy. Yeah, you'll attract people, but then as soon as they figure out that you're, you're just kind of, you're like stagnant energy, you're kind of stagnant water that has 
grown impurities in it because it, it, you never took the time to groom your thoughts, your energy, your behaviors. They're going to they're gonna be attracted to you for a little bit, but then they're going to realize, oh man, this guy's not actually not, he's actually not that great of a person. There's something about him and his energy repels me, right? At first they're attracted, but then once they find out who you really are, they don't like you. So don't be that person. There's people like that that I meet where it's like at first they may seem attractive. They may seem beautiful. They may seem, you know, they have a great smile. They, they seem charismatic. But the second that they open their mouth or the second that I talk to them and get a feel for their personality, I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. And you know what? I, I ended up not liking that person because on an energetic level, something about them you just couldn't trust, right? As opposed to somebody who... You can't help but be drawn to them. You can't help but look in their eyes and be like, whoa, what is this person doing? And I'll tell you what they are doing. They are practicing kindness every day. They're practicing self-love every day. They probably do loving kindness meditations, right? They meditate on love. They forgive people who wrong them. They've created a pure lifestyle where they don't hold on to anger, bitterness, loneliness, sadness. They discard those things and they choose to look at things with a positive mental attitude, right? You've got to fortify this. I call it doing your happiness homework because people think, oh, I'm just going to wake up happy. No, happiness is work, bro. Happiness takes time. You've got to show up, put those headphones in, listen, listen to positive affirmations. You've got a gratitude journal every night. You've got to think positively about your situation, whatever situation you may be in. There's something that you could be grateful for at this moment. Right? You're, you're breathing. You're alive. You, you can see the world. You can see colors. You can taste food. There's so much to be grateful for. Don't give me any excuses that, oh, I don't know what to be grateful for. Start with something, bro. Start with your loved ones. Start with saying, you know what? I love my mom. I love my sister. I love my friends for all they, they have ever done for me. Right? Get, feel the emotions. That's how you really get it is when you radiate gratitude, you radiate self-love. That's all it is. Right? It's, it, so number one, recap, retention. Number two, purpose. And number three, feeling the greatest sense of self-love and love for the world that you've ever felt in your life. When you combine all three of those things, you will be so blessed, so blissful, that I guarantee you won't even care about women attraction and magnetism by the end of that journey. And that's when you'll get it all anyway. So that's my tidbits for you. Those are my tips. I hope they help you in some way, and I hope I've given you perspective on how to incorporate these things into your own life. I love you all. I hope you're well. I hope you have a blessed life. I can't wait to see you in the next video. It'll be coming out very soon. And I hope you have a good night, good morning, or a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Much love. Peace.